straight talk is great because there's no need to waste time on messing around with ideas and belief systems. Straight talk that talks to human beings as powerful as they are and shares that, okay, we have a great intelligence within us. We ignore that. Okay, let's admit we ignore that for a long time. Maybe we try to achieve it through different things, but what are the results of seeking for something that is always present right here, right now? What are the results? Have you seen great results? Are you happy all the time? Are you able to deal with your afflictive states? Are you able to be in peace, with, in peace within yourself? And these are questions that I started to ask myself and from a very young age and also seeing the conflict. I was born in Australia and I lived most of my life in Israel. So I saw a lot of conflict around me and it never made sense to me. Never made sense. It doesn't make sense still. But I understand why it's happening. Lack of education in the nature of mind. So when I was gro growing up in this circumstance of constant fear of something might happen. So you get really used to that, that something bad might happen in any, any given moment. And also in the last d uh, decade, we, this fear that was very much isolated in specific places is now all pervasive. It can happen everywhere and we know it. So it really requires, and that's why, you know, that's the importance of the balanced view training. There's a call to action and there's a great opportunity to bring peace about. Now, when, when you say something like this to an Israeli or someone who comes from a, a, war, war, a war, you know, a place with war, um, the, the first response that you will get is probably a sarcastic remark or a hand movement like, you know, what the hell are you talking about? Like, look, look, look at reality. But when you stop thinking for a moment and you look at reality, you get it. It's really possible. There is reality of descriptions, reality of data streams where everything is going bad and sometimes happy and sometimes sad and sometimes na 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 bombs and all of that. And there is the reality, the all pervasive reality of open intelligence, which allows us to unite in a powerful way. How come we, how, how do we do it? Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times. What, what does it mean in my own experience? You know, the, the great place of war and uh, you shared about the teenager, like all the hormones, I feel like that all of the time. So maybe I'm 30 now. I thought it will stop at 21, it didn't. So all of these data streams, the intense data streams, desire, impulses, anger, you know, jealousy, all of these are not separated from the all-inclusive open intelligence. We were standing there in the way and fighting with these things, impulses, labeling, labeling them as wrong and bad and needing to be fixed and changed. But if we allow them to be as they are, then we settle into a power of great benefit. Allowing it to be as it is might be scary at the beginning because we were born on the belief system that human beings are flawed and needing to be fixed. So what will happen if I will allow my anger to be as it is? Oh my God. Then you'll see a real Middle East right in your face. You know, it will be within you. Something so intense that I thought, you know, I can't allow it to be as it is. That will be too much. But when I allowed it to be as it is with the support of the four mainstays, then I saw, wow, that's not a big deal. You know, anger appears and resolves naturally. I don't need to jump and scream it out. I don't need to blame my parents because of having that. I don't even need to blame my hormones <laughs> for having that. I can just allow it to be as it is. And from that, there's an open intelligence perspective of what to do and how to be in every situation. So once I get used to my own afflictive state, and that's the process of gaining confidence in open intelligence, then I can really understand the, the problems of the world as well. It's not, oh, those stupid politicians, it's because of their decisions. We need to take responsibilities as people, to take responsibility. And that's the grassroots movement of balanced view. People are saying, okay, I want to see reality. <laughs> I want to see actual reality. I don't want to live in a make-believe world of stories. And, you know, even good belief systems are boring when you face reality as it is. They're boring because they don't hold the vitality and power that is available in each moment. And that's what I saw. I was so tired 
of being a, a walking library of books and, and, and ideas. I was just so tired. And I, and I accumulated great books, don't get me wrong. They were beautiful and they said many beautiful things about people and myself. But when I looked in my own life, I didn't live up to the expectations I had. It just didn't work this way. Short moments of open intelligence and the four mainstays supported me to really face all of the craziness within myself and to get used to that. And to sit in front of rooms of people like here and on the live stream and say, you know, I have so many negative thoughts and I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Ooh. laughs> It used to drain all of my energy. I used to fight with myself. I wanted to be better. I wanted to have better thoughts. Now I don't. I, I really allow them to be as they are. And when seeing other people doing the same, then I got used that it's really safe to be who I'm, who, exactly as I am. I, you know, if it was just one person in the beginning when I met the training they weren't, five years ago, there weren't as many people as we have now. So the example of others, there were, there were few powerful people that said, okay, I will borrow their trust. Now there's a worldwide community, and we see the results shining in people's life, everyday life. Not in a closed room when there's no, no one around you and there's nice music in the background, and maybe then you'll be peaceful. No, when somebody pisses you off, and then you know exactly what to do and how to act. Like stepping back or saying, you know what? To me, you don't talk like this, and better that you don't talk like this to anyone, including not to yourself. Kindly, open-heartedly, you know, we know exactly what to do in every moment. Why? Because we're intelligent. We are beautiful and intelligent. All the stories and ideas that say otherwise, they are wrong. So when we claim the power of the mind, it's exciting, and that's what allows me to speak with such conviction. You know, it allows me to speak with great conviction all over the world and share my experience because I found what I was always looking for. And the energy that went on seeking for special states, you know, bliss and all of that, is released here, right here and now, to what is actually needed in every circumstance. So when I go back home to home, I mean Israel, uh, when I go back home, there's a lot going, lots going on, you know, and and when I speak to my family and friends, and since a very young age, I was exposed to very extreme opinions. To either way, extremes, extreme opinions. And now when I go back home or talk to my family or read the news, I have a very clear perspective of what's going on. I know it's, what's going on is people emphasizing their own data and differences. Assuming that we are different because we have a different color, different accent, different belief system or assumption about the world and the cosm our, <coughs> our cosmologies are different or all of that. But when we really check it out in our own experience, where is the differences? Data changing all of the time? Check it now in your own experience. What, what, what is the difference between you to the person who is sitting next to you? Your height, you know, IQ level, or what? Data. But where are we all united? What, what, what unifies us all is open intelligence. Amazing. To be welcomed and loved regardless of the history books. So I see solutions. That's what I see in my own experience. You know, I was such a... Since, a, since the age of six, I always wanted to, to a world peace and, and all of these ideas. I was so attracted to them. And now I see that it actually works. So what was a dream is now coming true every day in my life. So that's why I can share, you know, the difference between, okay, maybe I shouldn't say it because they might think I'm an idiot or drunk, uh, hippie, drunken hippie, or, you know, I, I took too many short moments and I don't see reality as it is. Now I can say, you know, peace is really possible and it, <laughs> it's about time that it will happen. And how it can happen, it's by you, each one of us, taking responsibility and checking our data streams from the new perspective of open intelligence, you know. And in the beginning, for those of you who are just starting, it's like, uh, it might be like, mm, I don't believe it, or I know it already, or you're like sussing it out. And... But then you get used to it. 
short moment after short moment, data streams can, uh, can flower, do their thing and, and resolve naturally. There's no one to blame, no, including not yourself, you know. So the shock in the beginning for me was, oh my God, I wasted 25 years of my life emphasizing data, this is ridiculous, <laughs> now why no, no one told me about it, my parents, blah, blah, blah. Okay, short moment, okay. From now on, I can build my life the way I want them to be, <laughs> not the way I was supposed to have them or society expect them to, to be, exactly how I want them to be. And the way I want it to be is clear, direct, beneficial, and enjoyable. You all will know exactly what you want to do, how you want to be. But the only thing that shifts is that open intelligence is there with you, pervading all situations and guiding you, your own very intelligence, guiding you which actions to take, where to place yourself, what to say. And this makes a radical shift. Because rather than being, okay, where my data stream will take me today, you know, will I be depressed or will I get money or, you know, <laughs> all of these concerns of the everyday life from conventional reality, they are a sad, 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 miserable joke that we can put an end to it right now with a one short moment. And this is the contribution you make. Stop, stop the intellectual speculation of what is a short moment, just relax. Do us a favor, do yourself a favor, do the world a great contribution and relax. And then you see, yeah, relax, that's good. Then you see how potent we are when we align ourselves with reality. I feel great regardless of my data streams, and this is a bold statement. They are nasty, bad, negative, dark, you know, fine by me. <laughs> and this is the capacity of the mind of each person, crystal clear, like a crystal ball, all of the time, regardless of the reflections. The, reflection, the reflections are always changing, they're inseparable from the crystal ball, or like the color blue in the sky. No need to fight. The, blue and co uh, the color blue in the sky, they didn't come together or separate from each other, that, that's their natural state. Same with our data streams and open intelligence. Settling into that, it feels so good. I can't recommend it enough. Settling into the reality as it is, oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the best, best, best. You know, it's better than the best meal, the best sex, the best everything. It's so good. And once you feel so good, it's magnetizing. So the magic of open intelligence is happening, whether you know it or not. It's magnetizing because people see themselves in you and they know it's a human being that is talking to them and not a wannabe. Yeah? It's a big difference.